comes to winter, our next guests say there's a lot more than meets the eye, a lot more science that is, right? Yeah, and uh, she, she's very talented. She is brilliant. Joining us now with some cool winter science experiments is scientist Anissa Ramirez. Welcome back here to CT Style. Thank you. Thank always, you so much. Uh, always nice to have you, Anissa. Yeah, thank you. Thank uh, you so much. I, I have to say, before we start with this whole winter thing, I, I of course, had to bring in the pencil. <laughs> Why? Because I, I have a science trick. You remember this whole thing, the whole... Optical illusion. Yeah. Look at that. Wow, you okay. got us there. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, on to what we actually so want to talk about here. So what did you bring here, here with you All today? Right. Well, snow's coming, right? And it's an opportunity for us. Not. Yeah, yes. well, it's coming. It's coming. Bad news. Uh, but, you know, there's lots of questions about snow that kids may have. The, one of the questions mm -hmm. they may ask is, why does it have six points? You know, when you are in classes, you actually make these little cutouts, and the six points is actually correct. Snowflakes actually have six points to them. Now, why is that? Now, if you want to know the answer, good, uh, if you go to the grocery store, the answer is there. Okay. Oh. Go over to the produce section. And look at the oranges. I have some clementines and I have a, a lime a in the lime, middle. Yeah. How many We're how many oranges are around? How many oranges uh, one, around? Two, three, four, five. five. Five, yes. Five? Five. Let's try again. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. six. Oh, whoa. Six. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I counted yeah. five. You counted five. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Can we not count or, or is this an optical? It's very illusion? early in the morning. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> See, we've been awake for 50 hours straight and we can't even count oranges. So, uh, She's like, try again. There are no, five. No, there, no, there's six. There's six. There's okay, six. Just a confirm. Ends up that water molecules organize just like oranges in the supermarket. Right. So you see that there's six points around this line, There's, there would be an orange in the center. One, two, three, yeah, six, okay. Well, the Go water through. molecules ar arrange themselves the same way and they grow out. So that's the reason why snowflakes have six points. It's because they arrange themselves just like oranges do in the center. And, the, and they also say, Sam Cantro uh, back here, I'm, I'm sure who, who we could see his, his little smiling face. He's I kind of want to squeeze it. Really. He's very he? happy. There he is. Uh, would you agree? They, they all are different, right? There's no snowflake that's the same? That's right. That, that's right. They that. all look, yeah. You're on fire. You're on fire. There you go. Tell you can right. count and you have some trivia. <laughs> Let's to move go. on to right, something listen. else other than these oranges. All right, forget the oranges. The <laughs> yeah. So we're going to hear about lake effect snow. Uh, the fact that we're going to get lots and lots of snow because we live close to bodies of water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's going on? Sam will have some things about that. Gil will talk about that too. Right. Let's say that this is a lake, right? Yeah. What I have is I have cold air going over the lake, and what it does is it absorbs the water from the lake, and then it dumps that snow somewhere else. And that's the reason why Buffalo gets tons of snow, because it's right by Lake Erie. Right okay. But when it gets colder, so right now, November, December, January, lake effect snow will happen. But I get, as it gets colder, there'll be ice on top. And when the winds come over, it won't be able to absorb all that water, right. and so there won't be lake effect snow. So, so is this for, for large uh, lake bodies of water? Like large Lake Pocatapog in East Hampton isn't going to dump a bunch of snow <laughs> no, over no, no. Adam <laughs> right Yeah, happen. that little puddle in the front of your yard, that's not okay. going to happen, lake right. effect snow. And also it happens on the coast here. So we get ocean effect snow. Hmm. So that's what happens. So, Island Sound and everything Yeah, like so that. that's because, once again, there isn't any ice on top, and it gets absorbed by the wind, and then it just dumps feet of snow. Hmm. I always neighbor. wondered that. Interesting. Yeah. That's yeah, okay. good to know now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so last thing for science related. There's going to be lots of Christmas lights. Christmas lights are made out of light emitting diodes, LEDs. Yeah. You may even have some LED lights in your house. What you might not know is that LEDs actually come from sand. Really? Sand is, the, no is the starting material. If you go over to West Haven, that's the beginning, that's the starting <laughs> point of light emitting diodes. That's it. So everything on your Christmas tree you can, uh, you can attribute cheap. to West Haven. Pretty much. That's it. All, it all comes from West Haven. Very cool. <laughs> well, what happens with the sand? The sand is actually pretty dirty. So we heat it up, we melt it, we take out the junk. And what we get is this pure element called silicon, which is this silver stuff here. Hmm. And then we make a long log of it, and we slice it like bologna to make a wafer that looks like this. And then the wafer is chopped up into really small matchbox size squares, and then they're made into sandwiches. Now, there's two parts of the sandwich. One part of the sandwich has phosphorus added to it. Phosphorus, we know, that's, that's in matches. Mm -hmm. The other part has boron in it. Boron, we know from Pyrex plates. There's boron in Pyrex plates. We put those two sandwiches together. The electrons move from one to the other, and when it happens, light's created. So that's wow. that's how light emitted diodes are. This is cool. This is like science what a class back in the, that's <laughs> back so in the day. That's so fascinating. Also, uh, for more information, you have this really cool podcast. We got to yeah. make sure everybody checks out. So, so go to Science Underground. I explain science topics in two minutes. It's for educators and for kids so that they can learn about how why snow has six points, how LEDs are made, and and lots of other crazy ideas. That's two neat. minutes, right to the point, right? Two minutes. We Even you it. can understand that. Uh, yeah, well, I, hopefully I, <laughs> I, I need to start counting well. <laughs> a little bit more. Hey, uh, we have a lot coming up here on the show, Teresa. We do. We're going to talk to a travel expert, Julie raditsky lafredi about planning your next family vacation. And we would also like to shout out our fans of the day. I believe there are two people there. Yes, Aww, I can count Shannon Murray <laughs> and her beautiful daughter, Angela. We'll be right back.